Well, uh, internet uh, has uh, really made uh, the revolution in the world. Over the last 10 years, the growth has been phenomenal. It is the most important tool for all walks of life today. Uh, our objective is to meet the Millennium Development Goals. And we, if we have to meet the Millennium Development Goals in health, in education, in government access to citizens, uh, in business, you need e-health, e-business, e-education. E and therefore, in order to meet the Millennium Development Goals in all other sectors, we need to be sure that we meet the MDGs in the ICT sector first. And that's why we in the ITU are promoting uh, the uh, meeting of the uh, MDGs in the ICT field by 2012 instead of 2015. Therefore, we are very aggressive uh, in ensuring that countries are putting the right policy that will help them have the right ICT structure, uh, not only in infrastructure, but also in content. Well, I hope that the uh, internet will really uh, be uh, the true tool for democracy, uh, for uh, citizens' uh, uh, freedom, and for citizens to access information. Uh, and my dream is to see uh, all citizens of the world contributing uh, in their civilization, because the importance of this information society that we have enter into, uh, I would say uh, the knowledge society that we have en entered into, is that everyone should have that right. It should be a fundamental right to access information, to use information, because it's not, it's not enough to access it, you have to use it as well. But you need to also create information, but also share information. A and therefore, with those four elements, we will have a truly a true, a knowledge society that we are all dreaming of, where every citizen will contribute. Well, my fear is the safety of the overnight, uh, uh, the safety uh, of our children, first of all. Uh, we give uh, internet to our children in the safety of their bedrooms or in their classrooms. We need to keep them safe. That's one very important element. Of course, the, this safety of uh, data, of information, uh, and of uh, infrastructure are equally important, and those are being addressed in this conference. That's really why I'm, I'm here also. Uh, that's why I've uh, put together in the ITU the high-level group, expert group on cybersecurity. I've put in place the cybersecurity agenda to ensure that we have a, a real good international framework that will be helping us to ensure that we have uh, a, f a free uh, cyber and peaceful and safe cyberspace. They uh, use peaceful because we need to also uh, avoid cyber wars. And that's one of my biggest fears. Uh, a cyber war will be a catastrophe for the whole world. And we know from the conventional world that no one is a winner in a, any war except the arms dealers uh, and the best way to win any war is to avoid it in the first place so therefore we need to put it together an international firm framework that will enable us to avoid cyber war between member states we know from the experience of Estonia last, last year that it could happen it's no longer some uh, uh, articles written by some uh, crazy journalists or dreamers, but those things are real realities that can happen. And we know that a war in the cyberspace is worse than a tsunami. Well, competition, because not only uh, uh, internet will uh, create competition, but I see internet having competition in itself because internet is becoming a monopoly in itself today. And uh, the, uh, the good side of any monopoly is that it creates uh, the tools for its own competition. And ultimately, it's just destruction if it doesn't hold it well. 
therefore I hope to see internet surviving in, the, in that competition of new uh, types of internet that may, may come up, new type of services and systems that will come up and will come up very soon. Given the speed with which internet has grown, of course uh, it, it will uh, uh, create that own, that uh, very tool uh, that will come as a competition to it uh, very soon as well.